Hi, dear students. Hopefully, you all are fine. In this session, I am planning uh, to uh, speak uh, about propulsion and mixing of food in the elementary tract. Mm, term of food ingestion uh, include uh, mastications or chewing and swallowing. So, uh, for uh, mastications or chewing, uh, the teeth has important role. The teeth are admirably designed for chewing. Uh, most of the muscles of chewing uh, of chewing are innervated by the motor branch of the fifth cranial nerve and the chewing, chewing process is controlled by nuclei in the brain stem, for example, medulla and pons. Uh, much of the chewing process is caused by a chewing reflex. That process is controlled by nuclei in the brain stem. Maybe you uh, try it. Chewing is important for digestion of all foods. So, after chewing, uh, the food ingestion is swallowing or the glottition. Swallowing uh, can be divided voluntary stage and involuntary stage. A voluntary stage which initiated initiates the swallowing process. A, a pharyngeal stage which is involuntary and constitutes passage of food through the pharynx into the esophagus. An esophageal stage, another involuntary phase that transport food from the Forings to the stomach. Uh, but voluntary stage of swallowing uh, um, contain uh, this explanation. When the food uh, is ready for swallowing, it is voluntarily squeezed or rolled posteriorly into the pharynx by pressure of the tongue upward and backward against the palate. From here on, swallowing becomes entirely or almost entirely automatic and ordinarily cannot be a step, but in voluntary uh, pharyngeal stage of swallowing. Uh, in fact, to summarize the mechanics of the pharyngeal stage of swallowing, the traca is closed. The esophagus is open and a fast 
peristaltic wave initiated by the nervous system of the pharynx force the bolus of food into the upper esophagus with the entire process occurring in less than two seconds. The esophageal stage of swallowing involves two types of peristalsis, primary and secondary. Primary peristalsis is simply continuation of the peristaltic wave that begins in the pharynx and spread diffuse into the esophagus is a phagus during the pharyngeal stage of swallowing. Secondary peristalsis or secondary peristaltic waves result from this tension of the uh, esophagus by the retained food, retained food. These waves continue until all the food has empty into the stomach. Uh, as you can see in this picture, a swallowing um, mechanism, mechanism, or uh, uh, you can uh, see uh, nerves innervated, uh, such as glossopharyngeal uh, nerve, trigeminal nerve, vagus nerve. Uh, as you see in this picture, uh, tri trigeminal nerve innervate uh, area of uh, mouth and uh, glossopharyngeal nerve innervates uh, part of esophagus. And uh, remember, vagus nerve, vagus nerve uh, innervate uh, along with glossopharyngeal nerve uh, to uh, parts of esophagus. As you see, uh, swallowing center in brain stem, uh, so for example, medulla. Uh, this picture pharynx uh, bolus of food epiglottis vocal cords and uh, for example uh, peristalsis or peristaltic waves uh, in this picture, step one of swallowing, uh, you can see uh, tongue pus balls against soft palate and back of mouth, triggering swallowing reflex. Okay. In step two, upper is a fagial sphincter relaxes while epiglottis closes to keep swallowed material out of the airway airways in step three in step three Food moves, food moves downward, downward into the 
ISO Fagus propelled by peristaltic waves and aids and gravity. In this picture, you can see uh, at a glance of uh, swallowing uh, procedure. In this picture A, picture B, picture C, and D. Uh, and this picture, you can see uh, receptive relaxation mechan mechanism. Uh, you can uh, see pharynx, uh, upper esophageal iso sphincter, uh, myantric myantric plexus, esmus muscle, include uh, lan longitudinal layer, circular layer. And uh, uh, first part of uh, esophagus, a straighted muscle, straighted muscle, and uh, in swallowing center A, B, C, non vagal nuclei, nucleus ambiguous, dorsal motor nucleus. Uh, and uh, uh, this this is uh, offering vagal pathways and that is efferent vagal pathways and about stomach function movement function motor functions of the stomach the motor functions of the stomach are threefold. One, a storage of large quantities of food until the food can be processed in the stomach. Do you know? And lower intestinal tract. Second, mixing of these mixing of this food with gastric secretions for example HCL until it forms a semi-fluid mixture called chyme three a slow emptying of the chyme from the stomach into the small intestine or to the moon at a rate suitable for proper digestion and absorption by the small intestine. Uh, this is a stomach picture. Uh, in this picture, uh, you can see esophagus, fundus of stomach, cardio of stomach, great curve, little curve, body, roga, antrum, pyloric sphincter, pylorus and do the know angle notch uh, so physiological anatomy of the stomach uh, first function of stomach or first uh, movement function of stomach a storage into a stomach uh, as food enters the stomach, it forms concentric circles, concentric circles, upper toward lower. 
when food stress the stomach a vago vagal reflex from the stomach to the brain stem that reduces reduces the tone in the muscular wall and storage up to 0 0.8 to 1.5 liters but for the general people uh, second movement function of stomach is food mixing and propulsion in the stomach uh, this function through basic electrical rhythm of the stomach wall uh, as food is in the stomach weak crystaltic constructor waves called mixing waves mixing waves begin in the mid to upper portions of the stomach wall and move toward the antrum about once every 15 to 20 seconds that these waves are initiated by the gut wall basic electrical rhythm as the constrictor wave progress from the body of the stomach into the into the antrum they become more intense some becoming extremely intense and provided powerful peristaltic action potential drive uh, constrictor rings constrictor cons constrictor rings force the the antral uh, contents under higher and higher pressure toward the pylorus play an important role in mixing the stomach contents but uh, fourth movement function of stomach stomach empathing stomach empathing is promoted by intense peristaltic contractions in the stomach antrum at the same time empathing is opposed by varying degrees of resistance to passage of chyme at the pylorus intense antral peristaltic contractions during stomach and petting as a pyloric pump has important role also the pylorus has role in controlling stomach and petting so uh, how can I control a stomach and petting you can see this regulation of stomach and petting first uh, regulation factor invited divided 
two types gastric factors and small intestine factors or duodenal factors gastric factors that promote impeding but small intestine factors powerful special powerful duodenal factors that inhibit stomach impeding Gastric factors including some hormone and some neural factors. For example, for uh, hormones, gastrin. And for example, for nerve fa neural factors or nerves, uh, vagal nerve, acetylcholine, parasympathetic. Uh, and uh, about uh, duodenal factors uh, as a inhibitory factors uh, in stomach impeding uh, include same as bowel uh, two factors ho some hormones and neural factors uh, for example, for hormones, cholecystokinin, secretin, and for, for example, uh, neural factor, uh, reflexes, some reflexes, gastrointestinal reflexes. So, all factors in duodenal inhibit stomach impeding uh, and then about movement the small intestine the, the small intestine has a long and uh, movement of the small intestine can be divided into mixing contractions and propulsive contractions mixing contractions uh, called by segmentation contractions uh, and propulsive movements uh, by peristaltic wave You can see that's here in small intestine you can see mixing contractions uh, segmental contractions are responsible for mixing this manner relax contract relax contract instead of contract relax contract relax but movement of food in lumen of a small intestine uh, for mixing let's here remember no net forward movement and propulsive movement in the small intestine you can see this process uh, peristaltic contractions in the small intestine are responsible for forward movement propulsive movement if, uh, you consider time zero 
bolus. Before bolus, contraction. After bolus, relaxation. Or receiving segment. Okay? Bolus. So, bolus moves forward in seconds later. Uh, you must notice direction of movement toward the end of the, the small intestine and uh, you should uh, remember the ileocecal valve has important role means prevents backflow from the colon to the small intestine we can see this picture uh, ileocecal sphincter or valve colon secum ileum terminal ileum uh, pressure and chemical irritation in ileum relax sphincter and excite peristalsis fluidity of con contents promotes empathy and uh, the opposite pressure or chemical irritation in secum inhibits peristalsis of ileum and excites sphincter so uh, impeding at the ileocecal valve but uh, movement of colon the final of this tube gut GI so therefore uh, you uh, the principal function of the colon are the same valve mixing and uh, propulsive mixing absorption of water and electrolyte from the chyme to form solid feces a storage of fecal matter until it can be expelled but type of movement functions same ball mixing movement propulsive movement uh, the, f the famous phenomenon uh, for mixing movement in the colon haustration and propulsive movement uh, in general uh, peristalsis but uh, the storing propulsive mass movement mass movement uh, you can see in colon absorptive and storage functions of the large the large intestine or colon uh, this picture shows colon at the glance uh, ileocecal valve uh, the contents in this area of fluid in this area same fluid in area mosh in area semi mosh and 
that area semi solid and uh, in rectum solid uh, but finally movement function defecations defecations uh, for defecations phenomenon uh, there is uh, different factors and uh, parameters uh, include mechanical and neural and reflexes so once entrance is true or feces, the desire for defecation occurs for many people uh, and then internal null sphincter relaxes and then external null sphincter go on relaxes but uh, relaxation of uh, internal anal sphincter uh, is different to uh, relaxation of the uh, anal external sphincter uh, that you uh, can see in continuation all actions management made by defecation reflexes uh, you can see this picture offering and dif different pathways of the parasympathetic mechanisms for enhancing the defecation reflex uh, sigmoidal colon and this part is rectum rectum uh, this this blue nerve shows a uh, motor nerve motor nerve uh, and this nerve uh, in general uh, is parasympathetic nerve fiber uh, into pelvic nerves and uh, green nerve shows offering nerve fiber offering offering nerve fibers uh, carry impulse uh, from a uh, rectum toward a uh, center of CNS uh, as you see um, some uh, different some different uh, nerve fibers uh, project to internal null sphincter but not external and null sphincter Exter the external null sphincter innervated by a skeletal motor nerve which from conscious cortex or uh, voluntary nerve in this defecation but then uh, content into rectum now, always rectum is empty but then uh, food uh, enter um, into rectum uh, content 
touch a wall of rectum in wall of rectum there is a, a sensory receptor but uh, these uh, receptors uh, produce a signal uh, through offering nerve fiber and uh, um, begin reflex uh, begin reflex or uh, parasympathetic reflex uh, however uh, when um, content into rectum uh, there is a an internal reflex or uh, parasympathetic reflex uh, called um, external reflex uh, immediately um, motor nerve uh, um, project uh, for uh, um, impulse to uh, some of uh, part parts of a column and uh, to uh, internal null sphincter internal null sphincter um, result um, relax relaxation and but not uh, external null sphincter uh, not uh, relaxation uh, when uh, the external null sphincter uh, when relax uh, from um, impulse uh, conscious cortex uh, through skeletal motor nerve and, uh, and then finally uh, occurs uh, defecation uh, so uh, I am glad to present for you uh, hopefully uh, benefit for you uh, see you later the next session